Well, I, I don't know. I mean, he, uh, he touches it's a, a lot of stuff. Because so. uh, <laughs> two wrongs will make a right. Yeah. He's running for real. I mean, exactly, ladies. I mean, what, you, you feel there's a larger issue here? Or, I mean, obviously, oh, the, the, the racial component uh, uh, seems to, you know, be, yeah, be coming I, out. I, what I'm interested in is, I mean, one of the things I'm interested in is what was wrong with whoever did it. We don't know how many did it. What was wrong with them that they would do such a thing? What kind of families do they come from? Were they brutalized themselves? Have they been victims of child abuse? Uh, do they not have any fathers? Their fathers never run. Are their mothers on crack? I mean, why would someone do this? I was I'm trying to figure out. Well, I agree. They should still be punished. I think it does make a difference if you're talking about. No, but no, it's no, like this. You why say that was their mother on crack. You can raise your child to be right. uh, an excellent person, but no matter what they want to do, that I'm not saying I'm not going to say their mother was on crack because I know one of their mother is not on crack. But you said what kind of family did they come to? I don't think the family has anything to do with their actions. No. No. I don't. Let me, let me jump in here a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This lady. This lady's saying, well, maybe, maybe there's a reason for it. You're telling me you're the one that's judging Marshall. There's no excuse. Was what seems to be what you're saying. No. What she said. She said that. What type of family did, yeah. did they come from a family? I say I don't think that their family have anything to do to with what they did. I don't think really? I don't think um, can I they think mother so? had to be on the rap. Some of the children that were involved did come from good homes, good families. They go to church daily, they participate. Daily? Somebody goes to church. Oh well not daily, I don't but think so. like really some don't. of them go to church and everything and so forth. It's not, sometimes parents do raise their child the way they should and they pick the other way. Because peer right. pressure, I think, is much stronger than the any parents, other pressure. Right. right. You think the parents can't control them? You think the parents can't no. get them away from the it's not the parents. It's not the parents. It's not the parents in this issue here. Down. Because your mother can tell you over and over and over again to do one thing. Yeah. But then when you go out into the environment we live in, you have to make a, a big choice. Yeah. And they have to be pulled to no. by their parents and then by their friends. And when they see their friends making a big having fun, they want to go with their friends. Not with not sitting up in the house with their parents right. so, the, so peer hard. pressure did have a big part in this it's hard to say no they have that campaign just say no it's it is so hard, hard to if say it no. was just easy like that then all our problems would be resolved right. yeah. I, I feel that if we provide adequate education for the kids of the city if they're not drawn into the drug culture if there's a solid family structure and if Koch after 12 years of Koch and after eight years of Reaganism what can we expect I mean, we're dealing with homelessness, drugs, lack of Nothing good city schools. Right. What do we expect, you know? Kids weren't homeless. None of these kids were homeless. But, but think of the culture they're living in. I mean, they're exposed to homelessness. They're exposed to crack. They're exposed to, I mean, whatever. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, these people could tell yeah, you Yeah, that's more. what I'm saying. I'm think interested. I'm living. interested in, Under. In, in, in what someone is like who would do something like this. And I don't know who the person was. But I'm interested well, we in what know. they said. I, mean, we don't I know, know people who murder have often been abused. I know they've often hit all kinds of other problems, but often murderers yeah, have been physically abused as yeah. children. Now I wonder, does somebody who gets in a gang and who rapes and who and who assaults somebody, have they been physically abused? It's just but all. That can't be true because they just it's might a make It's a question. It's a question. I'm not saying that it's know, true. Because not, most people who do crimes are not physically abused. They just make that as an excuse. Well, that's not true. Just so things won't happen. They say they're possessed yeah. by a video game. Yeah, they say they, they claim it's happening. Sometimes they do that. It's not all the times, but they do that. Represent Black Moon First before I kick the verse above the 
lyrically I freak the funk you never heard My shit is so fly when I kick it, it's absurd Damn how I wrecked your life with one record Major cool break it, bring your girl get naked Respect it because I worked hard for my cash Taking more flavor than this is dash Look down below my flow will hit your brain I got dough but I still hot the train I bust the niggas open, out of the style Yo straight to the juggler, brother you're mad foul Give me that because I rock with the best show Peace to the hardcore niggas, fuck the rest Skateboard and do a motherfucking bye-bye You little crab bass flea Bite in my style, you know the original Rude boys need buckshot No joke, smoke a nigga like Buddha Who the fuck you think you playing with? Yeah, I'm saying it Cause I want beef for you to hang here, right? Yo, sometimes I wonder how the fuck you get a mic But I don't sweat that cause I'm still paid Niggas get bucked down, bitches get sprayed I do what I must just so I can make loot If it's an eagle, pack that gas son. You know how we do, true Just for a couple of seconds and tell us what's gonna happen now if he's concerned. What are you feeling? What are you feeling? Right now? Are you feeling? I don't understand if he's getting your case prepared. He's going to charge him with attempted murder and rape. He's being charged as an adult? Yes. Mm -hmm. Your comments on how the police have handled it, I understand. both arms, her legs, and contusions as well in her lungs. From yesterday until today, she had a slight and encouraging early neurological improvement. In somebody who is as seriously brain injured as she is, any early sign of improvement is the best prognostic indicator, and we were encouraged to find that she regained certain reflexes that normal awake people usually have, like cough and gag reflexes. Corneal reflex is the thing that makes you blink your eye when somebody puts a piece of cotton in it. And most important, she was apparently able to recognize her mother because we saw that her pulse rate went way up when her mother was talking to her, which didn't happen when any of the rest of us talked to her. So at some level, she's processing information today, which she wasn't doing yesterday. All of this is good for her. I think you could say that. She also, since you opened that up, I was a, a physically a strong young woman, we believe. She was an athlete and a runner. She's got well-developed, uh, well-muscled legs. And, uh, you know, I think she was, uh, I think that will be to her benefit in making a good recovery. So what, what sort of uh, violence was brought on her? What, what, what sorts of uh, uh, things, how did she sustain it? Uh,
Is there anyone who is not ready? I'm Chief Colangelo, the Chief of Detectives. Darren Rosenthal, who is the Chief of Manhattan Detectives. And Deputy Chief Mike Philbin, who is the Executive Air, uh, Officer of Patrol Borough Manhattan North. Everyone hear me? Anyone who can't hear me? Today we are, not, we are announcing the arrests of four males, all between 14 and 15 years of age, in connection with the April 19th attempted murder, rape, and assault of a female in Central Park. After numerous and lengthy interviews by Manhattan detectives and assistance from the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, we have been able to reconstruct the events leading up to the attack as follows. At about 8.30 p.m. Wednesday night, a group of about 17 youths met at 117th Street and Madison Avenue and proceeded to 110th Street and 5th Avenue, where they were joined by 16 other youths. Together, at about 8.50 p.m., they entered the park at 110th Street, and they encountered a male whom they be began to harass. One of the youths recognized the male and told the others to leave him alone. They left him and continued to walk south along the park drive. At 8.55, they attacked an older male. He is unidentified as yet, who they struck in the head, knocked to the ground, and removed the package containing some food from him. At 9 o'clock, the group observed an approaching police car and they broke up into smaller groups, ostensibly to be less obvious and to be less likely to draw the attention of the police officers. At 9.05, one group assaulted and attempted to rob a 52-year-old 52 year old male near 102nd Street. They punched him in the nose, in the face, but they did not get any property from him. At 9.25, on the reservoir path, near the West Pump House, they attempted to uh, assault a male jogger who fled this scene without being injured. At 9.30, a group of youths attempted to assault a male and female on a tandem bicycle. It was on the East Drive at 91st Street. They threw rocks at the couple, but fortunately, the couple were able to elude them and escape without injury. At 9.55, a male jogger, approximately 40 years old, was attacked on the West Bridal Path near 96th Street by a group who beat him with a metal pipe. He suffered a serious head injury. He was removed to St. Luke's Hospital. I think, fortunately, I think he will be able to be released today. At about 10.05, our victim, 28-year-old female who was jogging on the 102nd Street Cross Drive, was attacked by a group of approximately 12 of these youths. She was dragged about 200 feet into the woods where they beat her with their fists, we believe a rock and a metal pipe. She was raped by four of these group, four of these youths. In addition to charges in connection with the rape incident, five youths have been charged in connection with the assault of the male who was later hospitalized in St. Luke's. Three of these five were also charged in the rape case. We believe there may have been other incidents in the park and some of the, one or two of the incidents I referred to we do not have the victim. And we would urge anyone who was the victim of an assault or an harassment that evening, or anyone who witnessed any assault, to please call our hotline number, which is 598-0071. The hotline number, 598-0071. Those who wish to remain anonymous will certainly Respect those wishes. Chief, uh, how did these kids all come to know each other at first? 
I think they were a group of kids who live relatively close together, who will hang out together. And I think on Wednesday night, they said, let's raise a little hell. Let's go into the park and assault and arrest joggers and bicyclists. It was spontaneous then. It wasn't like an ongoing gang that had been doing that kind of a before? We don't have any evidence that they are an organized group. We haven't had incidents of this nature in the park in some time. Any priors on the form of the charge of the rape and the murder? We don't have any priors on any of the people involved. We don't see any drug use here. It's very difficult. Early this morning, three, two, one. Today, there was very little to indicate that anything had ever happened here. But early this morning, one of the suspects in the case came here with the prosecutors, apparently cooperating in the investigation. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 These uniform guys would not be paid. It's a woman. These uniform guys is a woman. <laughs> Just words, okay. just microphones. Man. No cameras. Can you, what, what can you tell We're not going to get anything this time. I just when, found out about it. Yeah. 5 30 this morning. Okay. Yeah, who told you? I'm looking for my son. Yeah. Have Where was it? He's been in the precinct. They took him from when he went to the store. Were you worried at all that he didn't come home? Yes, I kept calling the police and looking for him. Well, what did the police tell you? Okay, folks. Uh, they need to help me find him. Mm -hmm. And I looked my number at different precincts. When you found out that he was here? I just found out about an hour ago. And what did they tell you when you came here? I can't visit him because he's 16 years old. Did they tell you what he was charged with? Um, just being there. You've heard about the incident. You've heard about the incident. What can you tell us about it? And about the woman involved. Character what? 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 I can't really believe that this happened. What about the friends that he runs with? Well, that's just it. It's funny that he was with them because those are not the friends that he runs with. Those are not good friends? Please to get the camera on my face. There's David, no camera no on camera your face. Again. Mrs. Weiss, what are your thoughts about the woman who's in the hospital? You know, I'm just sitting up there. I want it. My heart really goes out for her. Because this is serious. And it's sad. Do you pray for her? Listen. Just said, sitting in this place. I just found out about it. And I think you were saying before that people, kids need to choose their friends carefully. If the cow is innocent, any of them, even my son, let this be a lesson. Let this be a lesson. To them, because they should choose their friend. And I think every parent should be involved. Please, 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 please. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're okay. Yeah. Does she have kids? 
I feel that my these children, every last one of them, and their parents get involved in who they choose as a friend. But this is serious. This is really serious because it's the young kids that's committing these crimes. And if we don't get involved, this will be it. You think your son is innocent? I know that he is because if he was not, I wouldn't be here. What if he's guilty though? What if he's involved? But then I have to leave him in the hands of the good Lord. Right. But we can't proceed has to handle that with him. But I'm sure. And I'm put my life on. I know who he is. And I found out from a couple of kids who were. He was there. Please, why do you keep the door away for you? You're really torn over what has happened with the woman and and. Look, we're like, I'm gonna like, uh, we look at what's coming like, uh, you know. I need to go to the hospital and pray for you. Yeah, right. Pray, pray, pray. I see, I see this. Yeah. Whatever, whatever. Yeah. I would like to pray for you. Because I don't want to make it. Because if, this, if she died, this is serious. These kids don't need that. Somebody did something very horrible to this woman. Someone did. And your son was there. But we don't know how much of there he was. No one have let me talk to him. I mean, he could have been there, but not there to see the whole mess. But, you know, from what I understood from the detective, just said a minute ago, he was just there. But no one has said he'd done anything. And I asked him to um, let me see him. So you're just hoping that he wasn't involved as much as some of no, the others? No, they told me that he wasn't involved. He was just there. How many children do you have? Five sons. He's my youngest. Six years. Your oldest is 24. So you're pretty busy. No, they go on. Of course, my Thank you very much. What have you learned about your own son's involvement? What have you been told? Not so long. He's been gone over 24 hours. But you know he was there. Just a while ago, I went to so many peace times. Surprise, what were you saying earlier about if a person is guilty, if your son is guilty? Because he has to take what's coming to him. I mean, I'm going to pray and everything, but... Come on, if this happened to me, maybe I feel different. I ask God to forget that person. But if you commit a crime and you get away with it, you're trying to get it. Like I said, if I knew he was guilty, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't. But I know he's innocent. I know he's scared. I love him. I love all the kids, but my heart goes out to that family. It really honestly truly do because this lady can talk. I mean, and this would be a serious crime. What were you saying about your son in terms of being there? I think you said you were bitter. I am. I'm not so much a bitter, but I'm shocked because they're not his friends. He doesn't hang with them. So I don't understand while I was in church what would make him that time of the evening to go and touch a ball. I don't know. I mean, no one goes to the park at night unless you're accompanied with a door. What about uh, the lesson that he might learn from this? Do you think there's anything to be learned from this? Oh, I think he did. You were going out? I think he did. I mean, let's face it, he was there. You know he was there. Okay. I don't know if he was there. I owe you one. Have a seat, my kid. I owe you one. 
And he's the type of kid, like I said, if you use criminal terminology, he does not understand. He'll go yes or no. He don't know. So until he says, because he will, mom, this is that, that I can help him explain this mess. But right now he's explaining his soul without somebody that knows him better to help him. So when you were saying if a person commits a crime, justice, right? Okay. I see what I said was if a person commit a crime, then whatever. Done. Like, oh, yeah. That's what I said. Well, you know, keep the people think, one way clear for a few minutes, please. People think justice means the law. Court. You, you feel sorry for this family, Duncan. You know what? I I said this so many times. I honestly really do. I really. I hope she make it. And I think she will. I really hope. You know, everybody's saying, what God I'm talking about, there's only one God went back to the one God. This is what I hope you touch up. And the kids also. But somebody did something horrible to this woman. Oh, yeah. I heard so many kids, different names of kids, that they said they did this. I'm going to say they did. I was told by one of the kids that my son done nothing. I thank God for that. But he was there. And that makes it more serious. He was there. He had no right in the poor. But I can't believe how he could have done it if I could have seen him. And then I was in church from 8 to 10, so I didn't see his son. This matter was adjourned to today, grand jury action. People, do we have grand jury action? People are handing up a certificate of affirmative grand jury action. Is there anything you want to say? No, Your Honor. This matter is adjourned to part 50, <coughs> May the 10th. No, that's a bad day for you, Your Honor. May 11th, possibly. Your Honor, it's the people's request that each of these defendants now be adjourned to the same date um, as they've all been, uh, the matter is related, and we would like the defendants adjourned to the same date. Uh, the people would request May 10th. They're all related, but even if they're adjourned to different dates in Part 50, they can catch up to each other at a later day. Uh, I have an institutional assignment on, on May 10th. I, I will not be able to be in Part 50 that day. It's my case. I would request May 11th. It's not a hardship to the people or to the court system to adjourn this case to May 11th. Might I ask, please, that the court adjourn all the cases to May 10th. On May 10th, if uh, counsel is not able to be there, the matter could then be adjourned to May 11th. Part 50, May 10th. <coughs> Same bail conditions. Take shot. Pray, any charge of 130.35, 120.10, and 110, 125. And Stallonis, S T A L L N A S, 233, Broadway by Michael Joseph. This is a matter was adjourned on April 25th to today for grand jury action. Do we have grand jury action? Yes, Your Honor. This uh, defendant was indicted. The people are handing up a certificate of affirmative grand jury action. Counsel, is there anything you want to say? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I, I too would ask that the papers be forwarded to part 50 tomorrow morning uh, for a 10, 10 a.m. application.
The matter is adjourned to part 50 for May the 10th. However, we're going to send the papers forthwith tomorrow, 10 a.m., for, for your bail application. Thank you. Yeah, defendant is remanded. Step in, also take charge. And on to the count the 150, docket 9 in 042352. It's an arrest warrant. Clarence Thomas, defendant charge 16015, 12005, 160.10, 240.06. Marino is being piano by Julio P. Marino, 140 West 7th Street, Marino 2. Counsel, you have to read the arresting charges. Go ahead, Counsel. Any notices to the people? People serve for injury notice and statement notice. Also before the court, calendar 78, Clarence Thomas, defending charge at 130.35, 120.10, 110, 125.25. Number 78. This matter was adjourned on uh, April the 23rd to today for grand jury action. Do we have any grand jury action? Your Honor, there has been no grand jury action with respect to Defendant Thomas. And my, my, my application certainly is to parole the defendant at this time. What date would you like to adjourn this matter? Two weeks from today, Your Honor. Would that be in this point? Yeah. I assume so. Yes, yes. it stays in this point, right? Okay. That would be May the 11th for grand jury action with respect to this matter. Paroled. The defendant is paroled. With respect to uh, number 150, what's people's position on that? There's been no grand jury action on that docket, Your Honor. There's no grand jury action on that one either? No, you got any application to parole the defendant? Defendant parole. Uh, May 11th, the grand jury action. Uh, Jogger here, has that changed your habits at all coming into the park? Well, my habits are always to ride bikes with a partner. So, I mean, it doesn't really affect my habits, but it makes me very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I wouldn't change my habits any other way. <laughs> thank you. What is your name? Peggy. And your last name, Peggy? McLean. Okay, thank you. Like the town in Virginia? That's where she was found? Well, I think it was down there for her. Oh. Hi, can I ask you a question? All right. I want to ask you if uh, what happened to the woman here in the park the other night has changed your habits at all about coming into the park. I never come up this far. I mean, this my cutoff is down lower, but uh, unfortunately, I just was coming up to see the area, but uh, I really know the boundary lines living in this area is uh you know it's it's kind of treacherous when you go beyond the the area that they signify here because you don't know what's going to happen in this park thank you okay what is your name don't same question has what happened here changed your habits at all about coming into the park yes in what way well i won't run by myself i do i do the 72nd street loop but that's it no further on the weekends i'll bike there's a lot of people, but that's it. But I would never after dark anyway. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Hi, we're from Channel 7. Can I ask you a question? No, no, thank you. Oh, are you sure? No, I just want to you. ask you if it, your Come habits on. have changed about coming in the park. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> so, Susan, once again, um, how have your habits changed about coming in? Well, I'm certainly going to try to run with, you know, another person if I have to run in the, at night, but I'm not going to run at night at this point, not around here, especially maybe outside the park where there's a lot of people. But, I mean, these people should be shot. I can't say what should happen to these people because it'll be on television, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, but, but you said that um, you don't like to give up what you No, have. no, I think it's horrible, the idea that people are, you know, going to stop running because of this. I mean, if you, you know, if you just stay in your house, what's going to happen? You should, we should be protesting and marching rather than, um, you know, giving in and giving up. It's really sad, especially, you know, this park is so wonderful and the running is so wonderful to have these goddamn people ruin it. That's it. I, I would start cursing, so I better not. Okay, thank you. Have a moment. Changing a while ago when people were getting mugged in the park. All right, I'll ask you again. You know, it's rolling. Have your habits changed at all since this happened? Yeah, they changed a while ago, you know, when people were getting mugged a lot. I still don't come into the park at night by myself. Never. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you ever before this? Not really. I mean, I would come with people mm -hmm. in the night, but not even with people. I don't come anymore. Yeah. Yeah, you just got to be careful. Yeah. Good. Good. Thank you. One, four. Huh? Meanwhile, the victim's condition has not improved much. While she responded somewhat to her mother's presence yesterday, she remains unconscious here at Metropolitan Hospital, still on life support systems. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In a hospital where they harass you and discriminate you, do we need this out here in the park, in the street? I don't think we need this. It's terrible. If, if, if it was wrong with what they did, I don't condone it. They shouldn't have been out there. This lady had as much right in that park as they did. To walk, to ride, whatever. And I have been riding through that park too. And, someone, and, and I'm not saying it because they were blacks. These were black kids who almost threw me off my bike. And I don't ride it for that reason, but I don't think they, that, I wouldn't say it was racist, they was discriminating against me because I was a black woman or because this woman was going through the park and she was white and I was black. It's, she just, it just happened to be something that happened at that moment. And I, I think these rap records, I really did think they are wrong. This is like telling the kids to go out and do this, that it's okay. That they shouldn't be called the wolf pack. They shouldn't. And, and it, it's not a racial thing. And stop blowing it out of the ocean. Right. Yeah, that's right. What is your name? Patty Kinston. Patty Kinston. Patty Kinston. Yes. Patty Kinston. Uh, I'm for 22 years. You, you mentioned uh, people almost threw you off the bicycle. Off my bicycle. Is that the same I ride night or another night? You're talking about. No, no, not the same night. I have I ride bicycle. I'm an actress, and I try, I'm trying to keep my weight down or lose a few pounds. And I've been through the park on my bicycle, and I've almost been thrown off. And I was walking through the court where I live. And the doorman told me last week to watch out because there was some men watching me walk through the, uh, one man rather, watch me walk through the court into another street. And they just told me to watch out. But I don't think that was a racial issue either. Maybe he thought I had some money, which I don't. Or uh, if, if I had been walking through the park like this white lady, they probably would have done the same thing to me. If they, it, it was just the moment, the spur of the moment thing that they were doing, I believe. And I don't believe it was racist. And I pray to God at, that this lady be all right. Because we shouldn't have this kind of stuff going on in the city with so many other racial issues in here. We're fighting against one another on jobs and housing and whatever. It's, I think it's awful. And, and I agree with my minister, who is Reverend Calvin Bush, that they are not a wolf pack. I think they were just out doing something that they shouldn't have done. They should. They was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I disagree. I don't say that they was right in doing this. And 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 I think they should be punished because if you do something that you're not supposed to do, you should be punished. That's right.
Yeah. 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 And you know, just tell her that we are really behind her. It makes it look like you know, what do you think happened? Why did this happen? It was just a group thing. It happened because they was in a group and they wanted to, they, you know, they wanted to look cute. Somebody suggested something and it just, and you know, everything just got blown out of proportion. Okay, what's your name? Shante Chun. Okay, I, uh, my name is Mike Vina. How do you spell that? V I G N A. You were, uh, what was that? You were cycling in the park? Yeah, I was cycling. I was, I go out every night around uh, nine o'clock and uh, I, you know, I just go around the park about three times. And this particular instance, I was headed north, uh, right past the 102nd Street Transverse. And um, I saw a group of kids, two to three dozen, and uh, spread across the roadway. And uh, I tried to uh, uh, swerve around them, and I got as far as I could, and this one kid just reached out and swung with all his might, this missing side of my face. I could hear the whizzing sound go by. And uh, a car uh, was coming behind me, and he swerved into the kids to try to move them out of the way. And uh, a few seconds later, he pulled up alongside of me after we passed the... Uh, the gang of youths and he uh told me uh don't worry i got him back for you and uh which made me feel a bit better but you know i still felt pretty much angry so you then what got away well i yeah i, I avoided them and uh only uh did i learn on the next lap around that uh they had hit somebody in the face because i saw a uh, a man in the backseat of a, of a, of a squad car holding his uh his eye with his hand and the uh police officer asked if i you know if i knew where they went and i said well I, they were headed towards 102nd street i uh, i don't know exactly where they went and uh on the next lap around uh on the west side now i saw a big ring of fire uh right 200 feet north of the uh 102nd street transverse on the west side and uh, I assume in the vicinity of where the woman was found who was assaulted. Have you ever seen anything like this in the in the park before? Not to this extent, no. I, occasionally there may be some uh, isolated incidents but uh, but this larger group of, uh, of, of people know this is the first time I've witnessed uh, something to this extent. So you thought up until that occasion that it was a safe place well you know i know uh if it's much safer if you stick to the main the main roadway and if you uh sort of veer off into the uh remote areas and i know for a fact uh, i've used the 102nd street transverse many times myself and uh i always think to myself well oh, this could be somebody coming out of the bushes any second you know so uh especially for a you know, woman um were more uh, likely to be victims uh, in these cases. Uh, I would not recommend that at all, especially at that hour. Are you going to continue to ride there? Uh, yes, I will. Uh, I just, I can't, I can't uh, let the, allow this to to alter my uh, my sense of uh, you know freedom. I mean, I, I feel like I have a uh, um, I have a right to use the park whenever I want, and I think it's. Uh, up to the uh, the uh, police department and other uh, um, departments to, to protect the people who use it when they feel like they should be able to use it. And uh, unfortunately, uh, this 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 particular evening, I've uh, I didn't. It was very. Uh, 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 it's very, uh, how would you say, uh, uh, there weren't many people there uh, for some strange reason. Particularly after the uh, uh, the incident where I was uh, involved in, 
I came around and uh, for that one moment where all the cop cars were uh, cruising the area, I didn't see them. Half hour later on, they were all gone, basically. And uh, I guess they figured that, you know, they dispersed the kids and that, that was all that was necessary. Okay, thank you. All right. What's your name? My name is Nathan. Nathan? Yeah. What's your last name? Q. Q? How do you spell your last name? M-C-K-U-N-E. Tell me, what's wilding? That means, like, they're going out, starting trouble and stuff. Yeah. Beating on people. Yeah? Yeah. You heard that expression a lot? Yes. Okay. Let me talk to you. You know what wilding is? It's like a whole bunch of people start going around beating people up. Yeah? You hear that expression a lot? Sometimes. Yeah. What's it mean to you? Nothing. I don't go. You don't go? Okay. I think it's... What's a, your name? Laquan Williams. How do you spell your first name? Laquan? L-A-Q-U-A-N. And your last name's what? Yes. What, what's, what's wilding mean? That means um, people going around beating up each other up and starting, starting things. Like, just going around beating people up whoever they see. Okay, thank you. As the friends and family of this young investment banker pray for her survival and try to absorb the shock of this horror, the families of nine young men in this community try to get the details, try to figure out how this could have happened. At the Schaumburg Plaza houses, Doug Johnson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Okay. Right. Peter, this, uh, this one incident, I mean, this is a violent city and things like this happen a lot, but this one incident seems to really have made people angry, as you were saying. I think it's raised the level of consciousness of how, how terrible things are in this end of the park. Um, I'm surprised that a helicopter with searchlights has not been on duty in this area for a number of years. They could quickly react to any complaints that the park precinct receives. I also, uh, again, without exacerbating a problem that exists down in that area, wonder what's going to happen uh, when they determine the timing of the first receipt of the first notice and the actual incident, what happened up here, and whether or not the police officers took it as seriously as they might have or should have. Um, that's sad. Uh, I, gave, I guess the greatest pain that I have now as, a, as an individual is, is sharing with that gal as she comes out of it, the process of coming out of it. I don't think she believes yet what happened to her. And when she has to then live that, it's going to be horrible, and I don't think the story's going to go away. It makes people very angry. You know, you just, it kisses you off when you think that people would jump on a woman like that. Well, I think it's, uh, I think this is a city that is angry, and I think that we have to contain the anger and be productive and best directed to those who can take charge with it. I know uh, I just want to come up here, find somebody, and, and do bodily harm. I also wanted to take them after they get out of jail and put them in the gorilla cage in the park zoo, the new zoo, see if they can survive it. I think that's analogous to what they did to her. And I hope you guys don't let up. Appreciate your continuing. We are very concerned uh, that uh, the allegations that have been made against these young men. Uh, Mr. Harold Dix uh, has accumulated a community squad that will start an independent investigation for the United African Movement, which I'm president of, to see what happened here. Uh, we do not assume 
that uh, the uh, young men are guilty just because uh, they have been charged. Uh, it is very suspect to us that this city has uh, two ways of dealing with crime victims. One when you're white, one when you're not. Uh, there are people that have died from wilding in Howard Beach that have been convicted of that, that are not in jail without bail. These young boys are being held without bail. Uh, people convicted in Howard Beach have not been held without bail. Uh, these young boys have been not identified by the victim. Unfortunately, the victim is in comatose. Uh, the eyewitness uh, that they claim to have did not see a sexual rape. The admissions uh, that one allegedly made did not say he raped anybody or attempted to murder them. We do not want to see racial hysteria used to predetermine the rights of some teenagers. If these young men and others are guilty, they ought to go to jail. But they should not be tried by a media that excused the rapist of Tawana Brawley, that has not complained about the fact that the Wilders and Howard Beach have not spent a day in jail. It is unfortunate in this city that you have to be white to get this type of attention when you're a victim of a crime. And that is why we're here today. What's the best way to proceed again? The best way to proceed is that uh, as chickens come home to roost, you should proceed the way you did on the Brawley case, the way you did on Howard Beach, with a meticulous, put eight people in jail, when it took you months of research to before you would go in, and anybody in Howard Lee said, and we don't even know whether this, whether this videotape will stand up in court, because Bernard Getzes didn't. One guy, I think that it is really unfortunate that if you have crime against white and one of the boys, we would turn the rest of the boys in. But we want to underscore that other communities cry for this girl. We cry with her because we're human. But when we cry and how it be, we had to cry alone. That's the only fair I'm announcing. One of the things I resent is that these minor boys' names are being tossed around and this girl is being protected. I think she should be protected for that. Grandma, do you have her name? Uh, John Henry. You what were they doing? Uh, what was he doing? Watching TV or anything? Or? I don't know. Uh, okay. Are you ready? Are you on news? Well, you got an important point to make. You want to catch your side of it? No, nah, you ain't got to put me on no TV, baby. Listen. Right, so just ask you. Right to but it don't make no sense. You understand? He, like the boy is not like guilty. I like to know. Like to know. Yes, I know Mike. Mike playing with my little sister. Mike is a good little boy. He's a church boy. How he going to go and break somebody? Come on now. All the, how did the lady see it? Because she said what they're there for. Y'all ain't got no case because the lady did not see she, not unless she had a camera with her. His friend said that. But see, his friend said one day his friend could be lying, baby. Well, that's what a trial is for. That's why people are presumed innocent until found guilty. Presumed innocent after the law. He's not guilty at all. I don't care nobody said. I love that little boy. That little boy played my sister. They come downstairs and play my little baby. I don't think he did that. I don't think he did that. Well, let me ask you, do you think that the police or the society has just jumped on him so that they, they can just jumped on him because he's the only one that they got to put that's asking questions? Yes, they is. Excuse yes, they, why they not answering all the little boys, the other boys that did it? Why they not answering them? No, but they only come here and answer him, right? Well, I don't that's know. the way I see it. That's the way I see it. Them the only ones that they come. The like one, yesterday morning, right? Channel 7 News came up there asked him some shit like that too. Because I know some of the guys from the court. They going to tell me what I know. Don't argue, baby, because it don't make no sense to argue the boys. Um, his yeah, life. Yeah, he can't speak huh? for himself. You can't. I'm not gonna say what he told me, but I'm saying I know what he told me. Boy, I'm feeling yo. But what is? What and then we're back and talking that his mother, his mother ain't, his mother not feeling well, and y'all going up this mother ass knocking on her door. She don't be wanting to hear this about her grandson. Yeah. 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 Y
But do you think it's a racial thing? Do you think it's? I think so. Yes, yes, I do think so. I'm not, I'm not prejudiced or anything. But yes, I do think it's a racial. A group of little boys, a group of black boys go rape a white woman. Come on, now, be for real. You don't think this would happen? You don't think this would be? No, 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 no. If it was a black woman, y'all wouldn't even be here. Thank you. If if it was a black woman, y'all wouldn't be here. Channel Seven, any anybody else, the Post, anybody else news would not be here. Okay. Why is that? Why is that? Because simple fact that we black and y'all yeah. white. They get to a white person before they get to a black person. And you think that we ignore stories? Yes, you do. You do. All these drug dealers. All, I mean, I'm not. I'm not with that. All, all these drug dealers out here, y'all. You tell me if any. Don't put that thing in my face, baby. Oh, and, I mean, I'm telling you, all these, all these drug dealers out here, the ones that's getting killed. Y'all don't go down there today. They rescue. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't ask no questions about them. So how y'all gonna come up here and ask a question about a black person? Well, let's assume that there was a group of black teenagers that did this. Maybe it's not saying. Mike. Maybe it's somebody else. What is the problem? You know, why? Hey, are I don't. The problem just can't get. I mean, black people can't get along. That's why. Right. Because hey, I tell you, the Puerto Ricans can stick together. Why can't the blacks stick together? Why they wild and how? and you're educated, you know that. You know it. And it's people like you are responsible with this whole society that caused blacks to do what they do. That's and who right. put the drugs in the black community? Who put the blacks in the drug community? You know that. That's who put the drugs in this society because they ain't got nothing else better to do. No, they do. They want to get rid of you. They want to get rid of you. Because the youth rebelled in the 60s. The black youths wanted community control because now I'm trying to give a damn. And you can't. Who takes the drugs? The so black people take the drugs. White people take it too. White people come in the hall and get drugs. That's right. That's nothing is going to happen. And if you went to college, you should know one and one is two, and two and two is four. That's so right. you're just responsible for the rape of that woman. I would just be responsible if it was a rape. Yeah, talk to me. Who don't give him the job? Who don't come up for no reason? Who don't give him the job? You dare say that. Wait a minute. Let me say something. What? You're telling me you're not responsible. You don't. You never had psychology. You never had psychology in college. You never have psychology or sociology? What do, you, what do you do for a living? I don't have to tell you what right. I do for Are a you living. <laughs> no, not in this damn society. That's right. Are you responsible for your success? No, if I if no. my if my mind was tied and my hands are tied, no. You're not responsible for your success. You Whatever you've done. Your psychologists have done things to people. That's what I'm telling you. And you don't know, you're stupid. And you're gonna you're just you're either ignorant or fool. No, wait a minute. No, you know, you are damn you're damn you're just ignorant. 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 You're just ignorant.
don't know any better than that. You don't know any better than that. You don't know any better than that. You don't understand. You are brainwashed. You don't understand. You are stupid. You are you have a you know what I'm saying, John. You have a lot of nerve to say something like that. Because you should help this damn situation. You have a lot of nerve to say something like that. If you were human, you have no. You go right along with the people that kill us. You have no sense of responsibility. Yeah. No, not because you're one of those. No, 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 no. That's not proper. That's not proper. I'm not a racist. If I was a racist, I would do something about it. Yeah, you damn right. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. I was in a bar one time. And I was in there talking about things. I'm saying what I want to say. So what happened to the lady guy? said, you're a racist. No, I'm not saying that. I said, I know what I'm doing. I'm telling you the truth. It's not that I'm a racist. Because if I was a racist, I wouldn't be in here. I'm the only black guy in the bar. No, wait, hold it, hold it, hold it. I'm not telling you. Hold it, hold it. If I were, I wouldn't. No, 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 no. What your mind's made up. Not, not, not. My mind made up. I know what I'm doing. You're the racist. You, you are the racist, but you're more racist. When children have children, because of circumstances, they are not responsible for a lot of That's things. Right. Well, 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 and you well, made, well, your well, people well, made it like that. Well, Washington well, made it well, like well, this. Well, since well, the 60s. Well, you don't even understand well, what happened well, in the 60s. Well, 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 oh, man, yeah. But why the black people? You should be ashamed of yourself because you don't know. You don't even understand this. You can't make anything any worse. You don't understand. The police and parks department are attempting to diffuse the perception of danger in the park by saturating it with uniformed and undercover officers. But there is anger over this incident that seems to have only grown in the days since the assault occurred. In Central Park, Tappy Phillips, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Hey, you've been Okay, you know what I wanted to ask you? Everybody's saying that the, the, the wilding comes from that Toma song, Wild, do the wild thing. Does it come from that, that word? Huh? Nah, that's only a record. Uh-uh, it's not a record. Yeah. You gotta make some money. Does it come from that? Nah, nah. No, so wait a second, you guys. It has to be hey, just one person. Man, don't break it because you ain't got no money to pay for it, man. Wait, now it has to be just one person. Huh? Does it come from that song? Nope. Uh -oh. wow. No, no, that, that's see, wow. wild and not, been not out. necessarily nah, from that song. They don't say nothing no. about raping in the song. Yeah. <laughs> see, don't try to, see, I, see, then, then they're trying to put it off with right. that song. Right. You know what I'm saying? Wait, 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 wait a minute. I can't, don't, nothing will come through if more than one person talks. That's, it comes, it, it doesn't, the word was that one Nah, I'm saying like this. You can't say that, you can't, you can't say it came from the song because while it was out before that. They, they, they're trying to put it on rap. You see what I'm saying? You always try to make that music group look bad, not the other music group. You know what I mean? They had said that on Honda Street. They no, had the TV no, 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 no. And they were saying the rap records is, is fucked she up. She just jumped in into my, to my no, because they yeah. saying the rap records is, is bad because they say no. what people do. What do you think though? Is it if, if the word? Can, where do you think the word comes from? When do people start using it? Like, 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 say, say, so see, he just said, wow. I said, a oh, wow, though. Oh, a oh, wow, like, 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 oh, take, yeah. take this little kid right here. She's wow. <laughs> I'm saying, like, wow, you got somebody that's wow. <laughs> but they just put it as wow, and that's when the whole group wow. is together. Mm -hmm. And you just wow. Kids are wild and wow. The same wow. thing as bugging. Yeah, wow. see, bugging. See, now, if they would have said bugging. When they say bugging, they don't put bugging. Means acting uncivilized <laughs> under the screen. <screening>. Watch. <laughs> but that's what wilding is acting uncivilized. No, wilding. The old days, it was called acting wild and fooled by the old acting folks from the south. Okay, that's what it's called. Nowadays, it's been shortened by the kids. It's called wilding. But it used to be called acting wild and fooled in the old days. Yeah. You know, you see, but acting wild and fool really meant something because actually what happened, it was like a bunch of people got together, just hoop hollered and had a good time. But this, this is something that went on in the South. It's something that went on amongst the sharecroppers back then. Okay, the city term for it became wild. Okay, but in reality, it's acting wild and fool. That's all it is. Okay. Okay. You got it. Everything Why are you need. holding me up? We got one grown up fool on camera. <laughs> <laughs> we got one fool from the south on TV. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. He looks like he's definitely smoking junk. We have somebody. On the issue of safety, uh, what what is there to say about uh, about uh, people's vulnerability and what can they do and should they do to uh, to protect themselves? 
Uh, they should run, try and run in the morning. That's the safest time in the park between 6.30 and 9 a.m. If they must run in the northern reaches of the park, this 102nd Street transverse up to Harlem, they should try and run with a companion. If they are running alone, they should wait up at 90th Street until someone comes through. We have to look out for one another. If we see signs of something funny going on, we have to warn oncoming runners. So many times that is not done. Uh, I think we have to push for more police patrols, not only on the streets, but in its wooded areas. Your personal experience was that no one is invincible to this? Uh, no one is invincible. I'm, I'm fast. I'm a good athlete. I couldn't outrun my opponent. No self-defense course can protect you from the muzzle of a gun in your head. So uh, we have to use our common sense now. And the, psychologically, is this, this exercise today a way of reclaiming the park for runners, for, for people uh, who want to use it? I think it's uh, a two-prong uh, appeal. We are expressing sympathy toward the victim and her family and other victims in the park. We are also stating that we will fight to keep crime out of our park. And we will be obnoxious and, and go for uh, stiffer sentencing for criminals like this. Thank you. Okay. All right, so, it's got to be hard to do. It, it is hard, but uh, it was just too, the, the situation was too similar. I was lucky because I lived. And she, would, she uh, unfortunately, is going to have a much tougher time with it. So, uh, at Atlanta, it's the park. Many of you are aware on Wednesday night, a 28-year-old woman. Can you back up a little <laughs> we left her apartment in the East 80s, and as all of you, many of you did tonight, entered the park at 90th and 5th, and followed the same path we did tonight. She ran up the East Drive, she turned left at this cutoff, and when she entered the section here, she was attacked by a gang of youths. She was hit on the head several times with a pipe, with a brick, with a rock, stabbed five times in the head. Dragged down the ravine and raped by at least four people and left to die. We're here to honor her and to discuss this issue. I'd like to introduce a few people um, who are going to be part of this today. First of all, the president of the New York Rotary Club, Fred LeBeau. Uh, for us, Central, for us, Central Park is all pre for us. The Central Park is all playground as as it is all other parks in the city of New York. This is our backyard, we play here. What happened here the other night is a tragedy, not only to a young lady, but to the whole community, in particular to the running community. We depend on the byways and lanes in the park. We want to reclaim this. We'll be running here tonight, tomorrow night, tomorrow evening, every evening we'll be running here. Because I run in Gorky Park, in Hyde Park, in the Vlad Bologna in Paris. And I feel safest here in Central Park. I've been running here for 20 years. And we hope to maintain this safety net. And we need this group here tonight, the Bob Blubber and the class, to proclaim a safe night. And we pray for, uh, for the hopeful recovery of this young lady. It still is right my way. Come on, come on. Number one female runner in the New York area the last year. Um, finished 17th overall in the Women's Olympic Trials in 1988 and is training to uh, run in the 1992 trials. She recently, uh, a week ago, in the World Cup Marathon in Italy, finished 8th against many of the top women in the world, banging heads with the Russians and so forth. And I'll turn... What I'd like to do is just uh, ask everyone to just take a moment and be silent and, and honor this woman and and hope and pray for her recovery. Uh, her father was quoted in the paper yesterday as, as saying that he asked people to just pray for her. So if we could just take a moment all to just be silent and think about her and, and hope for her recovery.
several days it's just been what a lot of other people have been expressing to me that this this woman really could have been any of us male or female of any age and i just hope and, and pray that, that something like this can be avoided in the future that we can just all come together and work together to try to prevent things like this from ever happening again thanks I now introduce Mary Lou DiNardo. Experiences here at Central Park. Um, it's a it's a cliche to use a term. It couldn't happen to me, but I never thought I would be the victim of a brutal crime. Uh, I'm a fast runner. I've won many triathlons. I've even done the Ironman. I'm reasonably intelligent and I have a good job. Uh, but a few years ago, right here on this transverse, I was viciously raped and assaulted. The time was 6.30 p.m. There were many other runners in the park. I entered the park at 72nd and 5th and came around the West Side Drive. I was tired and a little concerned that it was uh, turning twilight, so I decided to take this cut through. About halfway through, right about here, uh, I heard someone coming up behind me. I sprinted, but so did the other person. In a split second, my hair was grabbed and the muzzle of a gun was in my ear. I screamed and tried to flee, but my attacker was prepared and uh, stuffed a rag in my mouth and bound and gagged me. When a gun is in your ear, everything learned in any self-defense class becomes moot. My attacker dragged me, uh, his elbow choking me, and uh, dragged me down the ravine into the woods. Um, I was terrified that I would suffocate. My attacker warned me to shut up or I'll kill you like the others. This man raped me several times, all the while telling me, you are going to die. I uh, was sodomized and forced face down into a mud puddle. I was forced to commit fellatio. He then started to choke me and uh, he stood up with his gun right between my eyes and he fled. Um, after a few minutes, I ran out to the drive. I must have looked absurd. My face and chest were covered in mud and handprints uh, were around my throat. I was bleeding everywhere. Um, I, it took at least 20 cars before someone would stop for me. But I am a lucky, I'm the lucky one. I lived. Um, a postscript, a good postscript to this story is that I became like the Avenger. I hunted this guy down. He was eventually convicted and is still serving time in Rikers Island. Um, I haven't stopped. Um, I haven't stopped running, but I have made changes in my training. I run in the park only during the safest hours, which are between 6.30 and 9 a.m. I make sure I am within several yards of a runner if I'm going past 90th Street, and if not, I wait up there and ask someone to run the Harlem Hills with me. Uh, when work or personal commitments make running in the daytime impossible, I run with roadrunner groups or along Fifth Avenue. If not, I, well, I try not to be as rigid. I swim or work out on a stationary bike if I can't run. And I have to tell you, I've gotten faster doing this. Um, Bob Glover is going to speak about some real uh, concrete safety measures you can take, but my stem the increasing violence in the park is to demand better preventive measures, more lights, more patrols, not only on the streets, but in the wooded areas. We must insist on stiffer sentences for criminals like this. We must be obnoxious and bug stern and cotch. Uh, the city has an utmost severity. Uh, the accused should be tried as adults and serve adult sentences. There's no better way for New York to demonstrate its righteous rage or to uh, declare its unwillingness to, con to condone such acts. Thank you.
I might add that besides being a good runner, she's one hell of a PR person. Mary Lou is responsible for you people being here today herself. She sent out the releases and got everyone here. It all started. It is the spot of three rapes. Mary Lou's, the woman who's lying in Metropolitan Hospital, and myself. Uh, I was maybe a few yards further west here on the cutoff in 1982 on a beautiful August morning, Monday at 8 a.m. I noticed a man coming toward me dressed all in black. I thought it's a free country, a little strange, but nothing to worry about. But I was alone here. There was no one else out here, no bicyclers, no runners, no skateboarders, no patrol cars at that time. And I'm not trained in self-defense either. Uh, I am not sure I'm trained in common sense always, and I thought there was no reason I couldn't go past this person, except I couldn't go past. I was grabbed in a stranglehold, I was dragged down the ravine, I was uh, threatened with death, I was just about strangled, and I bargained with this man for my life, saying that I would submit to anything if he would let me go. And for whatever reason, he made a deal with me, he shook my hand, he held a rock over my head while he forced me to perform fellatio, ordered me to take off my shorts and get down on the ground. I had a rock over my head the entire time. There was no reason to believe he was going to do anything he said or didn't say. I just wanted to get out alive. And I was lucky. He let me go. And the one thing I've learned from being very public with this story, from being involved in all the attention that this terrible and vicious tragedy is brought about is that there is reason for outrage and there is reason for fear but there's also reason to accept the conditions of the modern world which are not always ideal they're certainly not always safe and incidents like these are not so uncommon i think that's one thing that's got to be brought out these are not isolated, unusual, exotic crimes. I sent a copy of an editorial I wrote on this incident for the New York Roadrunners Club to a friend in Denver. I sent her this copy because she was my inspiration for running. I began running in high school following her example. I had read a piece with her byline in a national women's magazine under a big tabloid headline, I was raped. In her case, it was not on a run. I wrote her a note, I enclosed a copy of my editorial. What surprised me when she wrote back was her response. She said, I'm sad and I'm sorry, but I'm not surprised. And I'm sure there are many of you here with your own stories to tell or stories about friends or relatives. Now, I haven't curtailed my running. It certainly took some adjustment. As Mary Lou said, I now practice in enormous numbers of common sense measures just to get it done in a, in, a, in a sensible, in a sane, in a safe and appropriate fashion. But I still love to run. I've been here on the cutoff many more times, but I'm a lot more careful, I'm a lot more specific, and I'm a lot more determined to protect myself rather than just hope for the best and assume I can come out of anything again because I don't want to be threatened like that ever again. And I think the thing to realize now is that we have to protect ourselves we have to protect each other, and we have to stop denying that things like this happen. They happen, they happen to a lot of us, and they're going to happen again and again until the public decides that enough is enough. And I think the outrage that has come up over this incident doesn't draw any lines in the community. It doesn't draw any lines between the sexes. It doesn't draw any lines racially. It has nothing to do with runners and non-runners. It has nothing to do with sports people and sedentary people. It has to do with the fact that we as a society have got to get together and say that we're going to treat each other well, we're going to be civilized, we're going to behave in a way that enhances our lives instead of endangers them. I'm awfully glad to be here. I'm glad Mary Lou is here. And I hope we're joined by a third person at another time for another conference like this, and that that's the last time we lay flowers on the drive over this kind of incident. Thank you. I want to emphasize 
that this is not as your first name back with the I'll just do it. Your first name is Yeah, your first name. No, 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 over here, Lou. My fingers. All right. One more, one more. Okay, over to your left again. Okay. Um, your name? Kiyoka. K-I-O. No, this is true. This sort of behavior is trouble, don't you think? No. Right here. You pay attention, you know. Really? Come on. I think you do know. Okay, over just a little bit to your left. And then you're seeing if they're straight or they're stoned, oh, or they have extra money or they're not. You don't think you know? I do. <laughs> Pardon me? One more. Yeah. Here you go. All right. Um, you know, you know Yusuf Salam? Yes. Yeah. And, um, Oh, let's uh, wait till the shoot up there. <laughs> so, you all right? Yeah. Okay. What kind of kid is he? Um, well, I knew him to be a good, good boy, good man. Because he is so tall, I refer to him as a man. But he was quiet and he was friendly. Because it's like when you see him, he give you a hug and say, hi, how are you? Even if he didn't know you, you know, he was, he was outgoing. But how do you explain something like this? I can't. I can't. I mean, maybe he just got caught up with a bad crowd. Maybe he just, I don't know, maybe he just lost it. Maybe he just felt he had to prove himself to someone. I don't, I can't explain it. I don't know. You said you wanted to say something to him. What yeah. Would... Um, I want to tell Yusef that, you know, we're behind you and we don't condone what you did, but we still love you. We can't help it. And I don't know what made you do it, but try and get some help because I hate to say it but you do need it but we still love you and we're here for you right. I mean I can't well All right, thank you All right. thank you <laughs> what do you picture on you no second base picture when do you graduate next year when you get there? after yeah. go to college oh, yeah. in Florida probably I want to go to sure. University of Central Florida uh, my brother went there. I wish they did though, because I was a plus then. Mm -hmm. But SATs and mm -hmm. tests and junior projects and running with somebody else. However, it makes you much less likely to be a target of an attack, okay? Even if it's just with another woman or just another man, just one or two people, it makes you look more intimidating. You're just more, there are more bodies, there are more people that, that uh, one would not want to mess with, okay? Another thing is try to avoid areas like this after dark, even during the day. Uh, two friends of mine were raped here at 8 o'clock in the morning. So it's not always a factor of how light or dark it is. Um, one good place to run, if you're absolutely forced to run at night, is um, on Central Park West, Central Park South, and on the park side of Fifth Avenue, where there are people, they're dormant at least on the Fifth Avenue side and on the Central Park West side, and it's, they're fa it's fairly well lit, and you're at least close by to other people 
it's not the most inspiring place, but then if you run in Central Park at night, you don't get to enjoy the scenery anyway. Um, another good option is around the lower loop. Um, that gets a little bit creepy also, but if you do it more around 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, that's pretty much prime running time. Um, get away from the upper reaches of the park. I know most of you are still at the stage of running, say, 225 to 45 minutes. So a complete loop of the park might not be a real option for all of you. Um, however, we have to be aware <laughs> at all times, really. It's, it's not only... I want to start Why do you have a problem? Stay. You need to go, you can't. Don't look at me, I don't see that, Since when did cameramen start making out? Okay, they're all yours. <laughs>